What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know what? This is the craziest shit that I've ever heard. Suspected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. I've been telling you all season, Philly. They shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me? Jordan Davis, uh. Kayla Carter, like they shit on you. Oh. They shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me? Jordan uh. Davis, Kayla Carter, like they shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness. Did he say they they cock it on them? I hate the style. Of yes. Cuz you know, Philly 500 gave me a hard way to go when I went to Vermont to do uh, some volunteer work to help people get back in their homes and said that, oh, I gave up the power. I gave up the juice because I didn't show up. You know, there was no excuses. I could have video. I could have called in from anywhere. It's like, bro, I was working with like 20 people in the middle of somebody's house. I can't go here and cuss out an Eagle fan, get double teamed by Dan Salio and you. You know, I'm sorry, just isn't going to happen. Besides, the Wi-Fi, the, the cell service out in Vermont is not good. Be that as it may, this is the craziest shit I've heard. So the Eagles, you know, signed Saquon Barkley, right? And we heard this past week that, you know, Jalen Hurts is kind of struggling a bit with the offense and that um, they've changed 95% of the play calling. So now it's deflecting time and trying to make up for it. And so Philly 500, he sends me a link to this video. Watch for yourself. Happens. Yo, by the way, Kate Dig back here. So one of the things that came out of rookie minicamp was the fact that the Eagles were installing about a 95% new offense. It was going to be brand new to the players. And many people said, oh, well, maybe that's why Jalen Hurts missed this pass or missed that pass that they, they then tried to call struggling and make it sound like he's struggling in OTAs, which I find is total crap. But the fact of the matter is this. When you're installing an, a brand-new offense like that or a brand-new defense, uh, for that matter, a lot of times it takes a team a while to get going. So... There is a reality or a thought that the Eagles offense could actually come out and struggle early on as they or all season offense. I have a remedy for it though. I know how you avoid that. You've got to run the ball more. So you have to use Saquon Barkley. Uh, if the Eagles come out and let's say from a passing standpoint, they're still trying to adjust. One of the ways to get going is to use the run game. Wait for it, guys. Saquon Wait Barkley. for it. And that brings up a question in itself. <laughs> is the Eagles running back uh, depth chart? Ooh, do wait they for have it. enough guys that are ready to go? Uh, that's a very, very fair question. And it's a question that Sports Illustrated brought up. And they basically were urging the Eagles to go after Dalvin Cook. Uh, Eagles urged to target ex-Pro Bowl running back to make a fearsome duo with Saquon Barkley. Oh my God! You got to be kidding me! I really don't know how healthy he is, but this is this is what they said. Oh my the God! The Eagles already addressed their offensive backfield this offseason with the signing of Saquon Barkley. But Sports Illustrated, um, dot com's Eagles Today, Patrick McAvoy, still argue Philadelphia should consider adding more running back depth with Dalvin Cook. McAvoy suggested Cook as a potential target for the Eagles in free agency on June 10th. Uh, he is ranked as the 34th best running back remaining by NFL trade rumors and could add some intriguing depth 34. behind Barkley with upside, wrote McAvoy. He didn't get much of a chance with the Jets last season, but had just under 1,200 rushing yards with the Vikings in 2022. Uh, so, I mean, he, he had, uh, two years ago, he had over 1,000 yards. That's, that's not bad, really, at all. But Dalvin Cook is not the same guy he was. I mean, I think it's fair to say that. Um, 
he had what 67 carries last year 214 yards 3.2 yard average yards a carry uh, he is and y'all talking about Zeke will be 29 years old uh, in, in August so the question is is should the Eagles consider bringing in Dalvin Cook for depth at the running back position uh, I figure if it's cheap if it's you know not a lot of money then why not it, how could it hurt your team? That's what I would say. How could it hurt? I don't think it would. Um, I, I, you know, Gainwell is what Gainwell is. You know, he is. Uh, Will Shipley is a kid that I like to see play more. Um, but in camps and OTAs, it's so hard to judge the running backs because they don't hit. They're not really running the ball. They do some things out of the backfield. But, but that's pretty much it. So, you know, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. Um, so what this actually speaks of is actually desperation. See, he, as Dan Salio, and I'm going to be throwing that on him on Wednesday, said, you know, when you're struggling on OTAs, which are seven on sevens, what's it going to be like when it's live action and sped up? If you can't hit a guy who is wide open, just pitch and catch, then you got big problems when the shit gets live. So let me see if I have this straight. You have Kellen Moore. And uh, actually, let me ask a real question for you, Eagle fans. See, Eagle fans will be quick, will be quick to say the Cowboys don't have postseason success, that they're chokers, right? Right? That's, that's what you guys always say. That the Cowboys don't have postseason success. And they're chokers. Do we not believe that the guy who was calling the plays had anything to do with it? Because, see, you hired the offensive coordinator of the guys that you say choke. So I'm curious, what are you expecting from Kellen Moore? Mind you, he went to the Chargers and the Charger fans were excited static about him coming there until about six weeks in and they were like get rid of this guy he's a bum so let me see if i got this straight you go out you get saquon you're telling us that he's the greatest thing since sliced bread and now you're saying go out and get dalvin cook a guy who had um like three tenths of a yards less per carry than zeke elliott So this says to me, A, you're worried about Saquon Barkley getting injured, which he typically goes downhill as the season goes on. B, you're afraid that your quarterback can't pass the football and is not going to be able to pick up the offense. And now you're going to have to try and find a way to split the carries between Saquon and and Dalvin Cook to keep them both happy and understand that, you know, now you're basically trying to make your whole offense the Tennessee Titans offense, basically. Something that Kellen Moore hasn't done, so now you're going to throw that dynamic in there? By all means, sign Dalvin Cook, please, please, because I'm going to tell you guys, I'm sitting right here right now, 87 days away from the season. You will regret having hired Kellen Moore. And Philly, you're still a chicken. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you later.